Asthma is a disease where the lungs get irritated over and over. This can make breathing hard, which can be incredibly frustrating and scary. For kids, this can make them miss a lot of school. But if you know what to do, asthma can be controlled. With the help of parents, teachers, nurses, and doctors, the good news is that children with asthma can live healthy lives and go to school, do great at sports, play the trumpet, or whatever they want to do. People with asthma have trouble breathing because the little tubes that bring air from your nose or mouth deep into your lungs, called airways, get narrower, making it hard for air to come in and out. The first main reason that the airways get narrow is that asthma causes a lot of irritation and swelling, leading the walls of those tubes to get thick. The muscles around the airways also get irritated, and this makes them squeeze down on the airways, making them even skinnier, sort of like what a belt does to your waist. Second, in asthma, the irritation leads to more mucus being produced, which ends up clogging up the airways. The final result of this is that breathing with asthma can feel like breathing through a thin straw. It takes a ton more effort to move air in and out, and over time this can get exhausting. Now asthma is different for everyone. The most common symptoms are coughing, chest tightness, getting tired easily, and wheezing. Wheezing is a high-pitched whistling sound that comes from the air trying to get in and out of the lungs. In some children, cough might be the only symptom, and it might increase at night or while napping, which makes it hard to sleep, and this can often be an early sign of worsening asthma. Some people with asthma have symptoms almost every day of the week, whereas others only have symptoms once every few months. That being said though, asthma is a chronic disease, which means it never really goes away. So if you or your child has asthma, you should always be ready. At times, asthma symptoms can suddenly get worse, and this is called an asthma attack. During an asthma attack, the difficulty breathing can get so bad that it can be hard to talk. The person having the attack might start using certain muscles to help breathe, like the muscles in the stomach, between their ribs, or in their neck. And this might even be visible in young children. Severe asthma attacks are dangerous and can require going to the hospital. An asthma trigger is something that makes your asthma symptoms start up or get worse. There are lots of things that commonly trigger asthma attacks, and at the top of that list is being around cigarette smoke, or someone who's smoking. Cigarette smoke can be particularly harmful because even when it's not in the air, it can get caught up in clothes and furniture and still trigger asthma. Other causes inside the house can be things like dust, pets, cockroaches, mold, strong perfumes, and cleaning products. Triggers outside the house, on the other hand, can be things like cold air, pollen, and cut grass. Air pollution can also be bad for people with asthma, but this can't always be avoided. On heavy air pollution days, it might be better for children with asthma to play indoors. And when possible, it's best to avoid standing too close to cars or buses when their engines are running. Finally, asthma can also be triggered by getting sick, like with a cold, the flu, or some other illness. Now, this is a really long list, because each person's triggers are different. Knowing your triggers and staying away from them can help to control your asthma. This means making sure that nobody in the home smokes. In addition to that, keep your home free of cockroaches and mold. If a trigger is something like a cold, asthma symptoms usually improve once the illness goes away, but keep close contact with your doctor until it does. If your asthma is brought on by exercise or sports, it can be tempting to avoid these things. But exercise is an important part of being healthy for people with asthma. So with the right medications, a person with asthma can live a very active life. There are two main types of medication that can help with asthma, relievers and controllers. Both of these play an important role in helping to manage asthma, but they're used very differently. Relievers, sometimes called rescue inhalers, work within minutes to relax the muscles around the airways, and this can stop an asthma attack while it's happening. This is why it's important for everyone with asthma to have a reliever medication around just in case they need it. 
On the other hand, controllers are medications that reduce mucus and swelling. But these have to be used every day to work. They don't help right away, but play an important role over time to make the lungs healthier. This will help people with asthma have fewer symptoms and fewer asthma attacks over time. But during an asthma attack, only relievers will help right away. Both of these medication types are typically taken with an inhaler. For children, these should always be used with spacers. The spacer helps get the medication deep into your lungs instead of just into your mouth. Because if the medicine doesn't get into the lungs, it won't help. A mask that connects to the spacer makes the inhaler even easier to use for younger children. All these things though can be tricky to use, so you can ask your nurse or doctor to watch you do it. The inhaler, spacer, and mask can also be bulky to carry around, but you should definitely do it because they can be life-saving for an asthma attack. Babies and younger kids might also need a nebulizer machine, which turns a liquid medication into a mist that can be breathed in. Now, clearly there are lots of medicine options, including a variety of types and colors of inhalers, because controlling each person's asthma can be a little different from person to person. The main thing, though, is that every person with asthma has their own medicine plan, which is sometimes called an asthma action plan, and they clearly understand how and when to use each medicine, and they feel confident that their medicines work for them. Now, it's really important that people who take care of kids with asthma have their medicines and know how to use them. This also includes the people at a child's school. If you have a child with asthma, make sure their school has the reliever medicine as well as your consent to use it, so that they can help take care of your child if they need it. You might need to sign a paper at the school for this to happen. You can always ask your school nurse or principal about this, but the bottom line is it's really important so that they can give your child medicine for breathing problems at school. Alright, as a quick recap. Asthma is a problem that affects many people, especially children. It makes the airways in the lungs narrow and tight, which makes it hard to breathe. Each person can have different asthma triggers, and common ones are things like cigarette smoke and mold. Medicines include both relievers and controllers, and can help a person with asthma lead a very active life and not have to miss out on school. Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for watching that video on asthma. Um, it was actually our second video on asthma. Our first one's more pathophysiology mechanism related, whereas this one's more focused on the basics and what to do if you have asthma and the treatment. Um, we're really, really excited because we got to work with the primary school, uh, which is a foundation head up by uh, Priscilla Chan of the Chan Zuckerberg Foundation. Um, they're really trying to help improve the health and educational outcomes for underserved children. Um, so we're really, really excited that we got to work with them and it was awesome, uh, great opportunity. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, we had a few authors help with the, the writing of the script. Uh, the primary was Kyle Slynn of Osmosis, but then we also had Dr. Delaney Gracie as well as Dr. Ryan Padrez uh, help with the script. Um, I did the illustration as well as the voiceover and uh, we had Vince doing the editing. So. Thanks everybody for your hard work. I thought this video turned out really well and hopefully um, you liked it. So till next time, see you later.